Hi, welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to my channel. We do unboxings and try-ons and clothing hauls and anything else that sounds like fun. Wyatt is my co-host. Zena's here too, but um, she, she's eating a treat, so she'll join us in just a little while. So today I'm really excited because I have a Natalie Untired boxing for you. So excited, Natalie Untired. Um, styling service. I think it's a $20 styling fee. You fill out a profile, you get a stylist. I think you get, let me, let me dig into the box and I will fill you in on all the particulars um, to make sure I get it right. So, here is the inside of my box. All right, let's see. Yeah, five items, wanna make sure. You get five items, 20% discount, $20 styling fee. I have three days to decide what I wanna keep, send back what I don't love. If I keep all five, I get the 20% discount. So I'm not, I'll look at price at the very end, but the total for everything in my box is $256, so. My stylist is Evie. She is Evie. Evie, probably. Um, she's been my stylist all along. We'll read her notes after we check out what's in here. So here's my bundle. Looks like fun. Okay, so you do get the bag to return anything that you don't love. And first up is from Chris and Carol, and it is a long sleeve sweater, and it is longer in the back and has that little slit in the back, little opening, that's cute. It is a very loose weave. You guys can see that. So um, I have to, I would have, will have to be careful not to snag it if I decide to keep it, even during the try on. Okay, next up is by Naked Zebra. Looks like a black moto jacket. And this is um, very cute. It has the zippers in the front and it is fully lined. So that's really nice. It's heavy. It's like a heavy weight. It's fully lined. It's very cute. Next up is by Daz. And it is a sleeveless top with this little tie front. Yeah, it's nice and long. Okay, next is by Tribal Jeans. And it looks like it's double layered here. Okay, so it has a, um, a sheer layer with a tank underneath it. And I'm pretty sure that's off white, yeah. Okay, and last up is by Labajo. Baba Joe. Slim fit, and this looks like a legging. Although these are working pockets. Oh, only the only the coin pocket is a working pocket. The other two are not. But the back pockets are working pockets. And I'm not sure what color this is. It looks like burgundy to me. Yeah, I think it's burgundy. These are cute. Okay, so not bad pieces. Zip front ankle jegging pant, burgundy. The color's burgundy, that's good because I've gotten purple in my last couple boxes. So I'm glad these are not purple and I couldn't tell. All right, so let's try these on and see how they look. I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the first couple pieces. So this um, very loose weave sweater, you guys can kind of see it sort of see through. I think it'd be easy to snag. 
It's longer than I had expected. And it has this little cut in the back. Zena, you wanna get in the video now? And I put on with the leggings, which I'll just keep on through the tryout. And I put on a pair of um, Jeffrey Campbell sweater boots with it, which I actually like together. Uh, I was wondering what uh, different kind of boots you could wear with, like, with the leggings. And I think this is an option. So this sweater is okay. I don't love it. I think it's going to snag very easy and it's kind of shapeless in my opinion. So I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be oversized, which is quite possible, but I think it's okay. I do like the extra detail with the little um, cutout in the back, so I think that part is nice. And it's probably a good choice with the leggings, so I think it's cute. The leggings are very nice. I like the color. The burgundy is nice. They fit very well. And I have no complaints. I like them. Okay, next outfit. Okay, so next up is this top by Tribal, which I'll get a little bit closer just so you guys can see. It does have this sheer underlay, but it has the tank already built in with it. And it actually is like stretchy and has room. It's not tight or and form fitting. It actually, but yet it holds its shape well um, and doesn't create a boxy look. So I think it's very pretty. It's prettier on than I had expected it to be. So I like it. I like it more than I thought I would. It, um, it is an off-white color, and I'm just not sure about the larger embroidery pattern to it, so I'd be curious as to how you all think that looks. And let's try it on with this moto jacket. And you guys can see the whole thing is lined on the inside, which is very nice, and it has some weight to it. So I feel like it might offer some warmth. So it does have these zippers on the side, which are cute. I have gotten a couple moto jackets. One was a faux suede, one was leather um, and very clean. I don't think either one have any zippers on it um, on the side. This is neither suede nor leather. It's a, a regular fabric. Not that I'm saying that I need a third one. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but this is a very, it does lay very nicely and feels very nice on. It's very cute. So I'm very curious to see what these prices are. So I think this is very cute. And the pockets are nice and deep. Yeah, the stuff is very cute. I like it. I love that it's lined. It's nice. Okay, I have one last top to try on for you. Okay, and here is the very last top, which is much longer than I thought it was going to be. So it's more of a tunic style top and um, it has this tie. So I tied it up as high as I could stand it with my issue with things touching my neck. So, and obviously I could tie it much lower as well, um, but I want to see what it looked like. It is low and I have a cami on, um, so, which I would need to wear because it comes the whole way down to here. So it is very low, but I like the tunic length of it. I don't think, it might be a little, maybe it is, definitely big on me, but I think it's supposed to be loose fitting tunic style. But I don't hate it as much as I actually thought I was going to. So, I don't know, yeah, it's kind of cute. It'd be cute with leggings. And I paired it with, um, I kept these shoes on because I think these little snake print shoes would be cute with it. Um, I don't 
in a cardigan or a jacket, I could leave these, these leggings or wear a different kind of leggings. They're kind of cute. Yeah. All right. So I'll be curious to hear what you guys think of these items. And I will be right back with a quick wrap up. Okay, so that was the try-on. Let's see what Evie had to say. She said, hi, Laura. I included fun skinnies with tops to go with them. The loose, comfy sweater is great with a tank or cami layered underneath it. I did have a cami on underneath that tank, but or underneath the sweater, by the way. Um, I hope you enjoy the collection, Evie. Okay, so let's check out prices. So the long sleeve sweater top, which was that first one that I tried on, was $34. So not a bad price. If I were to keep all five, I would be fine with it. It just seemed a little boxy on me and I didn't love it. It wasn't horrible. I just didn't love it. Next up is the moto jacket and it was 79. And I have to tell you that I really liked it. So either I'm just in love with all things moto jackets um, or I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Or this one's just extra special. I don't know. Um, I think I love that it's lined. I love that it's just regular fabric. I thought the drape of it was super nice. I think the weight of it is really nice. So I think that's why I really like this. It's different from the other meadow jackets that I have. So it's $79, which I don't think was a bad price for this at all. Um, yeah, I was going to look to see what there's washing instructions on it, which I'm sure is probably so sorry. I'm still sniffling. I'm trying to get over a cold, so I apologize if I'm sniffling through this video. And it is hand wash cold, water do not bleach line dry. So I can tell you guys for anything that's hand wash, I machine wash it and I do it on delicate. And I've never had an issue, so I've never hand washed anything. I always put it in on delicate. So that's what I would do. Uh, I've never had an issue when I've done that. So that's what I would do. So this is actually my maybe pile, even though I absolutely don't need this, but I think it's so cute. Next up is the sleeveless tie neck top. It all comes down to if I buy, all, like I would keep it if I like everything else and want to keep all five, right? So what did you guys think of this? So I can always tie this many different ways. I loved the tunic length of it so that I could wear it with leggings. Put on a nice jacket blazer. Like I'm thinking maybe that pinstripe blazer that I got in my transom would be really pretty with this because it's a longer length blazer. Put on, you know, nice leggings. Um, even like the burgundy ones that we have here or I could wear any color actually. The um, pattern ones with the plaid on the sides that I just got in one of my mall hauls. And I could put on heels and be really nice for work or, um, yeah, I just feel like this has possibilities. I could put on a color blazer if I did the plaid. I just feel like I have some possibilities with this top. Um, but I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think did it looked too big? Did it look oversized? I, I would love to know. This top was 32, so not a bad price. Next up is this mesh top. So this is basically two tops in one because you'd have to wear something underneath it, but it is stitched here completely. So it's not even going to come loose. It went on very nicely. It wasn't tight fitting, but I thought it fit nice, very nicely. What do you guys think of the very thick embroidery? Did you like it? I liked this on more than I liked it holding it up to show you guys. Once I put it on, I liked it so much more. So this top is a little bit more expensive. It's 79. And the last is the ankle jegging pant by Labajo, which I'm probably saying wrong. And these were only $32. So I must want to keep these for $32. I didn't think they were bad and I thought they fit well and they feel like a nice quality for $32. I'm actually surprised that's the price and they're burgundy. I checked them to make sure they're not close to the purple color that I just got and they're not. They are a true burgundy color and I really like those. So everything was $256. 
obviously if I kept anything that $20 styling fee that I paid already would go towards anything I kept um, and then I would get 20% off of everything if I kept all of it so that would take it down to what about 20% off would be $50 plus the 20, that'd be like $70 off of it, everything. $70 off would take it down to about 180 for all five pieces if I kept everything. Otherwise, I keep one item to get the $20 off, which if I kept one item, hmm, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the jeggings. Tough one, guys, tough one. So I would love, love, love to hear what you guys think. Please help me on this one. Comment below. Let me know if you like the try on. Um, what items you think I should keep and what I should send back. Zena is here. She wanted to say hi to everybody. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. I would so appreciate it. If you have, uh, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, I would so love that as well and show me some support. If you've already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. From all three of us, we hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bye everybody.